All right, so the turkey's done. It's important not to just set it and forget it because then it would have been overdone. It's done about 10 minutes before I thought it would be, at 2 hours and 15 minutes, so it cooks pretty quick. That skin is nice and crisp for sure. Delicious, delectable. You can see the meat is pink. Why is it pink? Because I cured it with my Prague powder number one. So this might have like a slightly cured like ham lake flavor. That's actually the goal. So now we're just going to let it rest. How do we let it rest? You turn the power off and you let it keep spinning, no heat rotation, and this is how you let it rest and keep it ultra juicy. Yep, yep, yep. So um, I'm just going to grab these drippings here in a moment and uh, make some gravy. All right, so I'm just going to grab the turkey from the rotisserie, which cooked for two hours and about 15 minutes, 12 and a half pounds, and I rested it for 30 minutes on the no heat rotation in the rotisserie. Okay, so now let's just set this uh, bad boy up here so we can take a look at how nice that actually looks. Let me just rotate the camera there. Isn't that just absolutely a gorgeous bird? Okay, so now for the fun part is we get to slice this up and take a look and see if it's juicy and what it tastes like with that brine. Let's take a look at the other side and do a slow rotation. So you can see evenly browned, beautiful, nice crispy wings, which I'll love to gnaw on later. Um, you can see there's a pink coloring. That doesn't mean it's not done. I cured this with Prague powder number one and a dry brine of salt as well for four days, pink salt. And I didn't season it because I want to see what it would taste like just naked like this. And it looks absolutely delectable. Let's poke it. So it does have a nice, nice, uh, nice, beautiful skin. I'm gonna lift this off the base. And I love this uh, shallow pan here, which makes it really easy to deal with stuff. And I just put the base over there. Oh, I forget which side I, I connected these on. Which side was it? There it comes. So take that off. Just put it in the sink for now. And then I'm just, because I have these gloves, I, I don't have to worry about burning myself. I can get right in there and just slide this off the spit. There we go. And now for the for the real fun part, and that's uh, taking our good old trusty knife. So I used butcher twine to tie this up nice, so it wouldn't flop about and burn in the rotisserie. I was worried that it would burn, the skin would burn, because it's so big and close to the heating element, but you can see it absolutely did not. Thank you, Amazon, for a huge roll of butcher's twine, which was definitely something I needed if I'm going to be using this rotisserie a lot, which, as you can tell, I do love it and for good reason makes absolutely scrumptious meals roast veggies the meats this turkey's gonna last me oh until tomorrow i'm kidding i'm kidding it's 12 and a half pounds i'm a single person it's going to last me um a good while i'm gonna have lots of leftovers i'm gonna freeze them in small serving packages so i have lots of delicious lunches i was gonna smoke this because i know smoked um cured turkey tastes a lot like ham but i think it's the curing process i don't think you need to smoke it to give it that flavor Oh, you can tell I trust this up real nice. Okay. Don't want to cut into that and accidentally serve it, so. Okay. Now, in terms of what I... I like all the meat. I, I, like, I like dark, I like light. Um, but I'm just going to start slicing into this. See how easy it is to slice or not? Um, and I like to get an actual drumstick, you know? Like I like it whole. I like to pretend I'm a cave, a cave person. There we go. I'm gonna take a bite. Wow, really beautiful flavor. Very moist and juicy. The curing process is nice. That's why it has that beautiful pink color throughout as well. All right, we got some thigh meat. I'm gonna leave that. I do want to have some breast meat with some skin right now because I'm going to be having some of this in a moment. And well, I'm gonna plate it for you and I'll show you. I just like to cut it down the bone there. And then I like to try to get underneath as much of that nice breast meat as possible, as close to the bone as possible. Because then it really slices off nicely. And then you can have a really, a really beautiful presentation. You just gotta have a little bit of patience. Like no need to, no need to rush things along. Want to keep that beautiful skin intact and 
great. There we go, and look at that. Doesn't that look just absolutely yummy, yummy, yummy? And now I'm just gonna slice a little bit of it. And so that's what it looks like. Look how juicy that is. Like, let's really get a close look here. This is my turkey, I can manhandle all I want. Who cares if, you, if it grosses you out? But look at that. Can you see those juices? So juicy. And this is half a little piece. Mm. Tender, not over salted from the brine. Just it's like, honestly, I've never had better turkey than rotisserie turkey in my life. It's so, so good. Okay, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to plate it and I'm going to show you what I'm actually eating. 